everyone. So today we are doing another reaction video yes. on the Philippine Scout Rangers. Now obviously I've seen a little tiny bit at the start. It is absolute brutal guys. Amazing. Too brutal. So this is the first time for the missus to watch it. I've only watched a yes. little tiny bit. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, press the post notification button and comment below on your views. Whether is it too brutal or do you think it needs to be done as necessary? Yes. Players know down below guys. See you in a few. So guys, let's get straight into the video. Like I said guys, it is brutal from the start. Really, really the training good. is absolutely mental, so we'll check it out. Yes. I won't we won't be speaking much through it because yes. it is a long video. Um, but I will be putting my views forward considering I'm ex military yeah. itself. So, yeah, let's get into it. Oh. So, cut above the rest. A light foot reaction force trained to strike hard and fast deep behind enemy lines. But to join this elite crew, Soldiers must first endure six months of hell. Six months. To earn the covenant to that tap. It's a brutal selection course. Most will fail. This is all what I've seen before. Absolutely brutal. They must Absolutely face brutal. a test of luck. A combat mission against insurgents where some will pay the ultimate sacrifice. The Philippine Scout Rangers guys is basically the special forces in the Philippines. I will link the uh, Ministry Documentary Channel link down below as well. The Philippine Scout Rangers are fierce of anti grill fighters. We evaluate our targets, we analyze, we discuss who among them needs uh, elimination. They are trained to operate in dense jungle terrain found across the Philippines archipelago. The scout rangers go behind the enemy lines with just a small team, sleep at a seven night. Traveling light and hitting hard. And to be able to strike fast, they use helicopters to hit the battle zone, specializing in raids, ambushes, and sabotage. The World Philippines has long been plagued yeah. by domestic conflicts, one of which gave birth to this elite unit. The first Scout Ranger Regiment was uh, formed in 1950 because uh, oh, wow. the government is looking for a solution to counter the uh, guerrilla tactics of uh, our then uh, communist armies. Skilled in unconventional jungle warfare, the unit was modeled after two legendary fighting groups, the intelligence gathering American Alamo Scouts and the combat ready U.S. Army Rangers. 112 students joined the first Scout Ranger class, only 72 graduated. But to become a member of this elite group, this is really soldiers tough. must first pass six Look at months that. of have advanced you ever training. Have done the same? And it all but they starts do. here. It is really good out here. At Texas, San Miguel, Bulacan, oh, in the Bulacan. northern Philippines. In the Luzon. Luzon. These 206 volunteers are already trained soldiers from other army regiments. The only way to gain special forces, and it's the same in the UK, you can only gain special forces if you're already in the military side. First, they will be stripped of all their ranks. Here, every man is equal. Equal, yeah. All equal. That's how it should be. Yeah, is that you guys the same? Yeah, and then they earn the rank of the Scout Ranger Training School. There's no paper. 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 There's no of course, the sword symbolizes our special unit capability, and the words we strike symbolizes uh, our capability to go anywhere, any place, and any time. <laughs> Today is known as reception. I don't know if that's the Gallup or are in for a Muslim or welcome. something like that. Oh, for the next five hours, I didn't hear it's the Gallup These instructors will try and break as many as possible through continuous physical exercises. Philippine military. Or Bisaya. They're always some. They're always the language you understand. The thing with this is like 
what they do is like when I was high school, if you were Today cadet, cadet like you have uniform with uh, the same thing with them. It's just a training. Just ten you know, one piece of candy, they pass by, pass by. Two minutes in and already struggling. You got to think, guys. It's yeah. like done in 40 to got 40 odd degree heat yeah. in the UK. You don't even train in 30 odd. You know, if it hits 30, uh, 30 high 20s, 30 degrees, they cancel training. They don't allow you to train because it's, really, it's, really it's deemed too dangerous in the UK to train. You know, so. And these are trained soldiers, guys. These are the trained soldiers already in the Philippine Army, so... Recruit 54 has collapsed from heat exhaustion. Definitely heat exhaustion. Yeah. They should have trained this early in the morning, like 5 o'clock in the morning. Down. What's, what's the point? 5 o'clock in the morning and then... The special show. forces, they want to get rid of the weak, don't they? Well, I'm just saying because people cannot take it that hard. Well, they can't. And Look at the instructors. They've done it. The second run sees more recruits drop. Second run. You are joking. For even more severe cases of heat exhaustion. Maybe you don't sleep that properly. The exercise has depleted oh. their bodies of essential water and salts. It what results in dizziness, that? vomiting, loss of consciousness, and control. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that, this is brutal training, guys. Honest to God. A potentially fatal condition. You can die, but through heat exhaustion. Right, bleeding. The blood coming up from his head now. The patient started to bleed. Multiple organ failure, which causes the bleeding. Of medical grace from the entire his body's just got too hot. If they use up all these hours, they will fail. Mm. It's only been one hour since they signed up. And already, some are so ill, they won't recover in time. Only the strongest will survive. The next challenge sees them hitting the ground. The unfit or yeah, unwilling have, have no place in the Scout Rangers. You know. Grass. At age 32, Recruit 1 is one of the oldest in the course. Uh, this is my ambition. Oh, oh, it's it's 32. Old. Imagine that. I'm 31. I hope the class is the oldest as well. Because <laughs> you know what they do is like 15, 17. Oh, 15, bro. Probably you have to be 18 seven. to be joining military. Yeah. Look how long, how far. And this is just on the first day. We've got six months of this type of thing. That's what the guy over there because I think he's going to be uh, wanted to join the police and he's waiting for the training. Ah ha ha, you're waiting for the training. You have to be Two that. hours to go. Please turn on the game. Like the pain is nearly nowhere near. Oh, the blood's going through your head. Yeah. Reception has nearly ended. But this last oh, tradition no. is a hard one to stomach. Oh. Chill. Oh, gee. Chill it. Oh, no. Oh. Have you guys had that? It's the final phase of our reception rights. So we are trying to let them uh, eat the chicken pepper. Oh, no. oh, no. And uh, the juice of it. Oh, 
Hindi ko na nga alaman kung sana ko na nag-give up yung katawan ko. Basta nagising na lang ako na parang parang na hihilo na and hindi na nakaya na ng katawan ko. At the end of day one, the damage is clear. 35 have quit. 171 remain standing. You know what they call that? And this is just the beginning. What is it? No, no, no. Mukbang! That was a mukbang, right? Philippine Scout Ranger recruits are seven weeks into their brutal training regime. 53 have already dropped out. Holy crap! In one day? It's just seven weeks. Listen. Once you doctor yourself, you definitely will not finish the course. He's too small, so I thought they're not allowed to stop. Let's go! The recruits will test their heads for heights today. They're going to learn to repel on this 45-foot oh, no. tower. Scout Rangers pride themselves in lightning infiltration and extraction, often from helicopters, into dense jungles. Rangers specialize in jungle warfare. They are built on mountains, cross rivers, using expedited methods or anything that's available to them. In the jungle, they need to feel comfortable hanging at 100 feet in the air, well under fire. In a battle zone, quick execution of these skills could mean the difference between life and death. Recruits will have to complete four crucial forms of repelling. The seat hip repel, the lizard repel, the rundown repel, and the heli repel. It looks so easy, but when you do it, it's hard. That's terrifying, dude. Mm -hmm. okay. Recruits 1 and 155 are up first with the seat hip repel, used for mountain evacuations. Recruit 155 is one of the youngest in the course. For the next few hours, each recruit gets a turn to perform the other three types of repels. For recruit 197, the lizard repel used for clearing rooms with hostages is proving a challenge. Oh no, this fully like loaded that? M16A1 rifle weighs over three kilograms. Next, they must conquer the slide for life, a 200 meter flying fox. Wow. May mga cases na magana natin ito, lalo na sa mga ilog, malalalim na ilog. It's a 7 second expressway to safety or injury. Kung pagdapin mo doon sa pas, paglawak mo ng tulig, pag hindi ka nakinigit, may posibilidad na malalaglag ka dito. Tapos, makon mo doon lawan mo. Not getting it right here won't kill them. Malapat mo doon sa pagdapin ko, sikasigyo. 
Basically, if they don't land where the boy is, they're dead. Because <laughs> uh, they'll hit a rocky bottom. The boy is where the deepest part is. Next up is amphibious training. That is like Louisiana. Some are weak swimmers. This phase will aim to weed out those that can't make the grade. <laughs> the lake. That's what we, we used to be the swimming will be like that. Into this 12 foot deep river, blindfolded and in full combat gear, weighing 30 kilograms. The aim is to first disorient them, then see if they can calmly recover and reach the surface. For recruits terrified of water. This is their worst nightmare. Recruit 181 will confront one of his lifelong fears. The thing is, I'm not that bad at doing stuff like this because we've had, we've had to do this type of thing in the British Army, like wearing full kit, doing inside water. I mean, not not full where it's weapon, weapon and weight in the rocks are, but full kit. Uh, it, it is hard, guys. You do, you do go under a few times, but. Yeah. You know, as long as you got your mind, keep calm, you're fine. Five yeah, I agree. Fresh water has a density lower than salt water, making floating much salt more difficult. Salt water? I thought it was lake. <laughs> no, I'm saying fresh water is more density than salt water, oh. so it's harder to keep the cold. Oh, really? That's why they use it. Why is that? use fresh water and not salt water. Because if they can do it in fresh water, they can do it in salt water. That's easy, I've done that. Freaking, that is piss easy. Treading water for 30 minutes. Easy. No, just treading water, like, just doing that for 30 minutes. It makes your legs over there in that water. But you just use your arms. At the end of the 30 minutes, the instructors will jump in and attack the weak. Across the Philippines archipelago. June 7, 2001. Muslim insurgents, the Abu Sayyaf, hold three Abu Sayyaf. hostages. Oh, deep I in watched the this before. After kidnapping this is really bad. Almost resort in Palawan a year before. 
After oh. stalking them for days, Mostly scout rangers track the gorillas' footprints through the night. By the next day, the rangers creep within 30 so meters of their targets. Them. For the next two hours, oh. they engage in an intense firefight against 30 rebels in muddy and thick terrain. Four enemies are left dead and one hostage rescued. What happened to the other two? Die. Marksmanship I heard about is a key this skill this for a ranger. Today, these done. recruits need to prove they have it. That's, I, I don't know where this is. This is now. Mindanao Fundamental really, understanding of positioning, aiming, this. breathing, okay. and correct trigger oh, pressing will be put oh. to the test yeah. in five Follow separate on. skills. Yes. Zeroing. One inch below the line of sight. Endurance firing, record firing, and the sneaker course. But it is the final exam that is the Lucky. most nerve-wracking of all. A confidence test that can kill. Lucky. Recruits are required to shoot two bags full of colored water at a distance of 25 meters using this M16A1 rifle with a 5.56 caliber round. First, they practice. In a ranger. Then their teammates hold the bags. At this range, a 5.56 round could kill. Hitting the thigh could rupture the femoral artery, one of the body's most important blood vessels. Rapid blood loss leading to death can occur in just five minutes, and the margin for error is slim. <laughs> Would you do this this is more than just marksmanship. I mean, you can it's understand a test of trust. Um, okay. at the beginning, with no, the running in here, they want to knock out the weakness ones. But this is just absolutely just stupid time. doing this. I mean, the surely there's other ways to do trust exercises. Surely. Than risking your teammate's life. Lucky for his friend. Recruit 22 passed, and they both move one step closer to being a ranger. Next, the recruits begin the Helleborn training phase. Scout rangers can deploy quickly into conflict areas by air. Landing into hostile territory, a helicopter is a big target. These men need to get out as quickly and safely as possible to avoid the helicopter getting hit. Commander! Oh, oh, the, uh, the here can cost lives, even trainers. Because that's the commander? First, recruits gear up for the quick deployment method. If the terrain is clear, the helicopter can fly fast and low while the troops disperse. It's a risky 10-foot jump, and one mistake could result in broken bones. Ouch! Special forces, maybe I wasn't special That's forces. That's why you're gonna break your bones in there. Next, they have I've been in helicopters and got off Heli the helicopter. Well, I've never done anything like that. Uh, I've not made it to. Really rapid, I can come in during infiltration. Mm -hmm. Kung saan, hindi kaya ng bumaba ng aircraft. Hindi kaya ng bumaba ng uh, sa ground. At sa ground, kailangan mag baba yung crew by use of the rope. Recruits practiced this <laughs> skill at the tower earlier in training, but now That's they perfect. take it to new heights. They need to complete nerve-wracking drops from 50, 70, and finally 80 feet above the ground, with nothing to stop them but their hands. It's a long uh, way up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be hard. Recruits first tackle the 50-foot drop. Oh no, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, one already failed.
Kita ubah. Jadi semua kalau yang kecil, kauit kauit mana hanapin, negaranya akan ada eksekutif. One step further at 70 feet, the winds become hard to battle. Tenny is located near the mountainous area, so tendencies for the wind to blow from all directions, making it harder for the pilots to control the aircraft. Next, it's time for the big one. One mistake during this 80-foot drop could prove fatal. Mm. The Crip 20 experiences that trouble. That one's fast. He's unable to control his descent. Quickly, See an that? instructor hits the brake. <laughs> Luckily, he got hold of that break. Yeah. Ooh! Hit your head on. Tomorrow, Somebody died. Their toughest challenge yet. One hundred fifty two recruits remain in the fight to become an elite scout ranger. On Today board. is the beginning of Hell Week. You got short. You got short. Hell Week. Combination of everything they learned to the test. <laughs> We push the students to the edge, testing their stamina, confidence, psychological toughness. As the day goes by, the test will get tougher. Yes, sir. The recruits will be recycled to the next class. That's too young. Or return to their mother. Like 17, 18. Too skinny. First up is land navigation. The navigation is very important as a scout ranger. Scout rangers should never get lost in the jungle. If you, if you get lost, you won't be able to accomplish your mission. You will jeopardize your team. The stakes will be high in three months' time. The point. When these recruits face the navigation is important. They must prove they can lead the way. Each recruit is given a unique navigation route, comprising of any five of these 24 targets. The chart contains a set of colors with different corresponding letters. They have to find their way point to point, but no one route is the same for any of these 153 recruits. They have four hours to complete the test, and the course could see them covering over 12 kilometers. If a recruit returns late or does not complete his answer sheet correctly, he will fail. Recruit 8 has reached three of his five targets in under two hours. All 70 degrees in the distance is 1,100 meters from here. It's not We're going that. Three targets. Now on to his last destination. In two hours. How would you guys do it? Would you go to the furthest ones and then work back to the closest ones? Or would you do the closest ones first? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Okay. There's no woman there. Why would you want a woman? There's a woman police here in the Philippines. Special forces. And he's not the only one. Never know any women to be in special forces. If they don't get back in the next hour, they will fail. The police is different. There's women in the police all over the world. But this is special forces military. It's hell week. Totally different. And they're in the middle of their navigation exam. Time is running out for Recruit 8, while some have already made it to the finish line. <coughs> but the mistakes are numerous. Siguro, hindi nila na kukuha yung basic ba na dapat gawin. Kung paano kumuha ng reference, kung paano mag-plus ng kumpasamata. One has run into bad luck. <laughs> Recruit 205 claims he has been the victim of theft. A cow has eaten his test paper. Ah! No, you would. <laughs> victim of theft by a cow. Why do they have, if they have been a camp, they're not allowed to have animals around? Should have put in a cage? 
The instructors don't believe it. It's a nervous wait as they check out his story. <laughs> the cow just ate his food. That's like the dogs that we own work. Oh, really? It's just stalling the food, though. That's the story for that guy. Back in the field, the crew is in with just 50 minutes to go, this fifth and final station is done. Recruit 8 heads back to the training school to meet his comrades. Recruit 205 returns from his second consecutive test, just in the nick of time. It's the moment of truth. But it's not the come <laughs> He's failed. As a recycled recruit, it is certain that his journey to be a scout ranger is over. <laughs> At the end of the navigation day, 20 recruits have failed. I'm sorry for that. After all this training, 20 recruits have failed. It's a cruel end of the road. But the night is not over for those who remain. The recruits are not allowed to rest. They're kept up all, all night practicing martial arts. All night. This is not designed to make them experts at fist fighting, but to wear them down. Mm, 7 a.m. We can understand how we do that in bayonet training up all night, all day. It's the water conference oh, right, exam. You know. Recruits will complete oh, the energy set from the sense of a uh, training out to control your anger. Swim across this lake in uniform and combat boots. See the mud. You never do that. Recruit 181 oh, yeah, well, struggled well, well, with well. the earlier swimming tests. But this one is harder. The weaker swimmers panic. <laughs> It's recruit 181's turn. Fail this, and he will be off the course. Despite oh, no. teammates and instructor's support. How many hours in a month? Oh, God, I need to do it. It's not his day. Oh. Do it. Group 181 oh. will be recycled I just don't understand why. I don't understand why. I don't understand why. Kind of got him to be honest, knowing that you've been through all that and the, the swimming fails. You know. But his fellow failed comrades don't take the news so well. Well, it's not like you have a, a second chance either, it's like if you fail, you fail. Done. No second chance. Day 4 of Hell Week. 116 recruits remain in the Philippines Scout Ranger training course. Over 40% of the class have dropped out or failed in the last two months. <laughs> And with two more days of Hell Week, followed by a real operation against real insurgents, the road ahead is long. 
ina ko na ko ko sana na may tinjani na ako ba ako balas pa rin ako kaya ako sa server yeah we just want to to say to his family that I will try my best to survive that's what he's up to I think my body is okay para sa mga buhay isipin na lang na madali na makita yung ito even worse, they will have to carry 35 kilograms of gear on their backs. Oh, I don't know. What is that? A big amount of weight. Put it that way. They march as a team, but it's an individual assessment. It's all about knowing how to pack your bag properly for you to carry on. If you don't pack it properly, you'll end up with some problems. For recruit eight, it's as much a mental battle as physical pain. Yeah. You can have a in your back. Well, physical pain on your back, but it's your mental, mental side to keep yourself going and don't quit. We had to do um, eight mile tabs every year as part of the fitness test. And you've got to do eight miles with 40 kilograms on your back in under two hours. Crazy. The march comes to a halt. But these exhausted recruits don't know what's coming next. It is all the ruse. Escape innovation is about to start. Escape innovation is an exercise where students get a chance to feel what it's like being caught by the enemy. Recruits will be held captive and treated as prisoners of war. It's a reality that could happen in just three months when they go into real battle. Their binds are positioned to maximize pain. Every soldier has to go through that. Oh no, it's in your. There's a nut. Scout Ranger recruits have endured nine weeks of physical hell, but nothing could have prepared them for this escape and evasion. For the next 17 hours, recruits will be subjected to various forms of torture. The aim is to make them fear capture. How are you going to escape with that kind of task? It's tough. That's why you need to put your mind over matter. Unless you don't have those blindfolds, well, I could. But um, yeah, but everybody has. Yeah, but, 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 it's no point in trying to get it off and then not get caught. Mama, take care of me. Because I'm a holy kappa. Don't tell me that. So much agi sa uta. Do isip mo na. What he said is that, uh, hey, well, you're gonna die anyway. What else is in your mind? True, everyone dies. It's up to you yeah. when you die. Yeah. In some case, you cannot for example, this, this type of case, it's up to you when you die. Yeah. You can stay getting be in prison and die in there, or you can die trying to get out. You know, you've got a choice. 
you will uh, give information to the enemy once you've uh, experienced pain. It's been 12 hours since the recruits were captured. What happens during this time is top secret. So the enemy can have an upper hand on you. Two and three are longtime friends. They've had the rare experience of going through all their military training together. The pressure here is very, it's very heavy. We come from different units, so from the start, we found it very hard to adjust. Your patience is being tested until you explode. Until you can't. Carry yourself anymore. As classmates, we really do our best in order to help each other to maintain our strength and to best be the best we can Yeah, that's good. So for the Always going to have an ally. Uh, I think Always that, uh, get my dependency on him will you know. continue. I rely on him One person if, suffers. If ever he will, uh, you help you, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. It's the only way you get through this type of thing. Tonight, these two will be the final platoon run, a test of teamwork and stamina. Next time they carry these 18kg packs, it will be for their final test mission, a real battle. But some have additional burdens, like this MG60 machine gun. That's heavy, I can tell. That's crazy how they've got rounds around them because that's, you don't do that in the, in the UK. And for one reason, if you get shot through one of them, they, they're all going to explode and you're basically wearing like a bomb, bomb breast. Yeah. Split into four platoons, they will be staggered in 10 minute intervals, one after another. As a team assessment, they must leave no one behind. If they do, every member of the platoon might fail the course. <laughs> they draw grass to see which platoon will go first. And they're off. Tell you what, China has a battle on the runs with Scout Rangers. So far, so good. Oh, that was close. I heard a couple of thousand Scout Rangers went against the Chinese. The first platoon arrives at the turning point. Went against 40,000 Chinese and one. That's why the. I don't know how true it is, but... It's, it sucks because when you're really super skinny there, you can't... It's not about being fat or skinny though, it's about your mental side and strength, yeah? A skinny person can just be as strong as a lot of bodybuilders. The finish line. You know, Team spirit is vital in completing totally the run, and Recruit 3 has taken on additional weight. They said you have to put in front of those uh, not strong enough. Yeah, you're doing the same in the UK. You know? Whoever's not strong enough to go straight from. Yeah. Right. You've got to keep up with the instructor. So believe it or not, the further back you are, even though you're in a squad, the further back you are, the harder it is. It's weird. But um, if you're up front, the easier it is than it is at the behind. So. Make it in time. 
we feel happy because we, we did it properly and we, we, we had a time we passed. It's a defining moment for Recruit 3. For me as the platoon leader of 2nd platoon, I think it's a very most, one of the most fulfilling, fulfilling events in my entire training. And this is also a test for our platoon mates for the integrity of our platoon. And as you can yeah, see, who's, who's willing to out a uh, uh, soldier out when you go to Definitely a test for that. But not for long. They need to prove they have the combat skills to match. Soon, the recruits will face the ultimate challenge. A real test mission. Real enemies, real conflict. One they might not return from. Test mission is a must for the uh, members in order for them to graduate. That differentiates the ranger training from all other military training. They could face the Abu Sayyaf, oh, the no. more Islamic Liberation Front, good. and the New People's Army. Battle-hardened insurgents. But Recruit 3 is not daunted. Every mission given to us, uh, we will accomplish them with uh, great achievement. And here in South oh, no. Korea, school, they're not just training uh, soldiers to become rangers, but rangers to become heroes. As Recruit 3 and his class head into real battle to gain membership into this elite club, the class ahead has just returned from their test mission. I have the honor of sending you two army officers, 85 army state personnel, and two police non-commissioned officers who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of scout trainer course. These 89 recruits have endured one of the longest test missions in training history. We spent two months in the Eastern Mindanao Command. Uh, five personnel, army personnel have abducted and we are tasked to rescue them. But one recruit didn't make it back. I sent also the soul of the class of the to offer the opening of some of my students. One man died trying to earn his badge. But for those in this class that survived, that's brutal, that really is horrible. But the thing is, what did he do when he died? The hardship again, to the real enemy. That was one of the tough. The students of Scotland, your course, graduates. Going out on that mission, didn't they? Yeah. After being tested under fire, so they're graduating they now, now have the right to call themselves Scout Rangers. Yeah, you need to relax, relax. Like that gun. What kind of gun is that? Sniper, right? Yeah, it's like the. Uh, I'm not sure what sniper is. Ah, oh, well. Well, guys, so, got to be honest, that was interesting. Yeah, it was. Brutal at the same time. Mm -hmm. I kind of feel sorry for that last guy, mm -hmm. you know, who Dying. didn't make it back. But um, I suppose that's the, that's what they were training for, you know, that that's what they were, they're going to be Special facing forces. even when they pass, pass out of training. That, that's exactly what they're going to be up against, unfortunately, the real enemy. And if you can't handle that, then don't join. Don't join yeah, the military because it's too because, much work for that. You know, um, even in, in the normal military, you've got to expect you could possibly die in, in the act of uh, the forces. So, but yeah, guys, if you did like that, please press the like button, subscribe if you're new, check out Hello. the Mrs. Channel. She's yes. link will don't be in the description that. as well as the PayPal, as Always. well as other links like Facebook and Instagram too, guys. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all on the next one. See you later, guys.